Let's blame Lee Clow and Steve Jobs for making, and I'm not really blaming them because they did the best spot of all time. And they changed the Super Bowl forever. And it became not a football game, but an advertising game. 1984, it changed everything. Anybody who works in advertising, I think, would have it on their bucket list. I think for the most part, people are really excited to work on the Super Bowl because it's an opportunity that doesn't come around that often. Is this your first Super Bowl? How many Super Bowl ads have you worked on? The great thing about the Super Bowl is you know the whole world is watching at the same time you are. There are few stages in which you have that many eyeballs all at once. Even if they're not watching the Super Bowl, they've heard about all the commercials that are running on the Super Bowl. Maybe they've watched them ahead of time, because usually now you release the spots at least a week and a half before the actual game. One of the key things is trying to come up with an idea that is so like brilliantly simple that everyone can enjoy it, everyone can get it. You can kind of quickly turn your head to the TV and understand what's happening halfway through the ad. We have a lot of non-football fans watching the game. And they're watching it for the ads and for the halftime show. And the idea that you have people tuning in to watch advertising, it's amazing. More than ever, these like, ideas, the Super Bowl, and then kind of how it grows onto the internet, it needs to be culturally relevant, it needs to be part of what's happening. And so when you're having that idea six months ago, you're like, are people gonna care about this in six months' time? So you have to come up with something that's strong enough to you know, stand the test of time and still be really iconic when it comes out. I kind of wish the game was a surprise, because that's why we sit there. There's like three PR hits now that you have to think about. We don't just make a commercial, we make a longer commercial. We don't just do that, we do some social posts. You're writing scripts for teasers like they are the Super Bowl ad themselves, really, and kind of thinking about it as a whole narrative, not just the commercial people will see. We package an entire idea before the game, during the game, and then after the game. You can now release the social thing on Super Bowl Sunday, and that's the extra piece of entertainment that you give people. I don't think it's ever going to go back to the Super Bowl.